So let's continue with the checkout page. So I have the cart here. It would be a very simple link that I select the button, link it to the login page. Okay, so from here, I would not do a login prototype, but I would say continue as guest. So I'll select the button again, and I'll link it to the address. I have one example here that I want to show the typing. So typing in Figma prototypes is not that ideal. It doesn't feel real. So what you can do at most is already have things filled in that kind of simulates the typing. So I could say when I click on the name, it would fill in all the stuff and you would have a different screen that has all the stuff filled in. And now the button is enabled. So let's just check this out, how it goes. I'll click on the name here, then it's pre-filled and you have a button that is active. Let's link the payment options button to the payment option like so and then you are in the payment option here. So if you look here, you have two choices, the credit card and pay friend. What you can actually do here is maybe do interactive components, right? For this one, it's better to do two screens instead because you need to simulate the radio buttons. If you have an interactive component, you could select both at the same time and that would be a little problem here. So let's try to link these together. If I press on pay friend, it goes to the screen which has pay friend enabled. And then if I click on credit card, it would go to this screen here. So now you have the link done. Let's check it out in action. So if I go to payment options, and say pay friend credit card 